Hi, I'm Mrs. Burkholder, and though I may not be your English teacher, I am a sixth grade English teacher, so it's possible during the school year that you'll see recordings by me, Mrs. Barnett, Mrs. Cantu, Ms. Harvey, or Ms. Chesser. So today I'm talking to you about poetry. What is poetry and what is the purpose of poetry? Why am I doing this assignment? So poetry, when you say the word poems or poetry, it can scare some people, it can scare kids, and it can scare adults. And there's no reason to let that happen. Poetry is just another form of storytelling. It's one of the oldest forms of storytelling. So all you're doing is listening to a story. And what is the purpose of poetry? The purpose of poetry is to learn how to listen to comprehend the story that's being told by the um, author and to listen for emotions being conveyed in the poem. Are you feeling those emotions? Do you know what uh, emotions the writer is trying to get you to understand? Lots of times we can make connections to ourselves with the emotions that we feel. And um, what images are you seeing? Images are things that you see in your mind's eye. When you're listening to this poem, when you're trying to understand this poem, what can you see in your mind's eye? What can you see in your brain? And how are you feeling? And that's the purpose of poetry. So remember, it's just another way to tell or listen to a story. And that's what you're going to do today. You're going to read this poem and you're going to see if you can make some connections with um, these words or the images that you're seeing in your mind's eye. Good luck.